In 2013, experts crunched the numbers to figure out the cost of building a new sewerage network in Germany. The result was a staggering $600 billion. This was a record, making it the most expensive infrastructure project in Germany at the time. Consequently, Germany places great emphasis on technologies that can swiftly repair pipes and prolong their lifespan. One such technology is currently on the screen. It allows work to proceed without the need for trenching. It involves inserting a flexible sleeve made of fiberglass fabric, reinforced with plastic, into the old pipe. This sleeve is then inflated using compressed air and solidified with the help of a UV lamp. That's all there is to it. The job is complete. It's worth noting that the company has already manufactured over 7 million kilometers of these sleeves. Road repairs, bridge construction, and laying new power lines often demand added ground reinforcement. Soil nails are a commonly chosen solution for this purpose. Their installation involves drilling a hole ranging from 10 to 25 centimeters in diameter, placing the soil nails at the hole's center, and filling the remaining space with concrete. Another option is micropiles, which are more robust and effective, even against landslides. Both soil nails and micropiles enable quicker work without compromising quality, all while costing just a quarter of some other ground stabilization methods. Lift-build technology lets you build homes from the top down. But why choose this method? Let's head to Detroit, where lift-build played a crucial role in the construction of a 16-story apartment building. The construction site was surrounded by busy streets and had the Detroit people mover nearby, making it unsafe and inconvenient for cranes. That's when lift-build technology stepped in. Each floor was assembled on the ground around two concrete pillars, then lifted up using eight strand jacks. The lifting speed averaged about six to nine meters per hour, and the building was completed in just over a year. However, the construction cost approximately $64 million. Now let's take a look at an intriguing twist on Micropile Foundation. What makes it intriguing is its speed. It boasts the installation of six to eight piles within just an hour. Another noteworthy aspect is how it's put in place. The tubes are simply pressed into the ground. Remarkably, the manufacturer claims that this foundation can withstand frost heave in nearly 100% of cases. This foundation is suitable for both sandy and clay soils, adhering to the manufacturer's recommended density values. Additionally, there's no need for excavation, no debris, and no waiting for concrete to set. Now let's delve into the topic of waterproofing, a subject the experts on the screen are well versed in. They come from a company with a solid history in waterproofing dating back to 1996. These professionals are equipped to handle both internal and external waterproofing tasks. One of these solutions they rely on is AquaBlock, a one-component waterproofing membrane ideal for use in cold climates, even at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. This feature holds particular relevance given the company is located in Canada. Moreover, AquaBlock can be applied not only with a trowel, but also with a sprayer. These versatile solutions enable experts to tackle a wide array of projects, ranging from fixing leaks and repairing cracks to sewer maintenance and pump installation.
What happens when you combine the benefits of pavers with the simplicity of floor coverings installation? Well, there's a system that fits the bill, and it's called Pave and Go. This system works well for homes, offices, and pedestrian streets alike. The Pave and Go elements can be installed without the need for screed or glue. That means a single worker can easily cover 25 square meters in just an hour without creating noise, mess, or dust. Pave and Go comes in thicknesses ranging from 18 to 28 millimeters, and the materials are chosen to withstand heavy foot traffic. Plus, if something gets damaged, replacing a damaged Pave and Go element with a new one is really easy. One of LEGO's ideas is training the builders of the future. It's unclear if the creators of the Eco Murat system had this popular toy in mind, but their blocks unmistakably resemble LEGO bricks and are assembled in a similar fashion. The difference is that these blocks are made from natural stone and concrete. This makes Eco Murat blocks a practical choice for tasks like building retaining walls. The blocks come in standard lengths of 50, 100, and 200 centimeters, with standard heights of 30 and 50 centimeters. Working with these blocks is so simple that you can lay them at a rate of about 10 square meters per hour. These glide-on cassette balconies were added to a new building near the famous Wembley Stadium in the UK. These balconies weigh about half as much as regular ones, and are attached with special anchors that are three times stronger than other options. Besides, the glide-on cassette balconies arrive at the site already assembled, which speeds up installation. They're easy to fix securely on the first try, and remain level. One noteworthy achievement was installing 62 of these balconies in a single day. This mounting plate is crafted from fiberglass reinforced plastic, and surprisingly, it's the first of its kind on the market. Thanks to its unique design, it retains the same stability as metal plates while offering the benefits of being lightweight and highly corrosion resistant. These plates are commonly used for pipes leading to sinks, showers, and bathtubs. Speaking of pipes, the manufacturers have also made improvements to them. Now they offer pipes suitable for both service and drinking water, made from reinforced plastic that allows 100% oxygen permeation. This feature makes them suitable for heating systems as well. To complement these pipes, these innovative fittings are available. They're made from polyphenol sulfone, a durable material that can withstand high temperatures and is exceptionally hygienic, even finding use in the medical field. What do the University of Queensland's Library, Sydney's Hyde Park, and the 15-story Emirates House Office Building have in common? Well, firstly, they're all located in Australia, and secondly, they all underwent renovations that involve the use of these handy fasteners, known as stone clip. They simplify the installation of slabs made from various materials. They provide reliability even when dealing with substantial weight, for instance, a 450 kilogram granite slab was securely fixed using stone clip. These fasteners also proved invaluable during the Emirates house renovation, where they were used with 1 by 1.2 meter marble slabs. Seco Roof Multi Tape is a single sided adhesive tape. The manufacturer humbly mentions in the description. However, it proceeds to provide a series of noteworthy details. 
This tape performs well in temperatures ranging from minus 50 to 50 degrees Celsius. It adheres securely to metal, concrete, and even plywood. It stands up to UV radiation, resists microorganisms, and repels precipitation. Plus, it can be effectively welded using hot air. Seeker Roof Multi-Tape serves as an excellent complement to waterproofing membranes and offers the added convenience of being easy to transport and handle. A 20-meter long, 0.5-meter wide roll weighs just 15 kilograms. Alhu recently made a clever advertising move. They specialize in modular construction, and they showcased its effectiveness with one of their buildings. Over a weekend, builders added an entire floor to the structure, comprising nine modules and containing 15 new offices, along with a kitchen and a bathroom. Interestingly, these modules can be customized for various purposes, including operating rooms. Modular construction is 70% faster than traditional methods, as the modules arrive at the site fully finished, even with the interior work done. Builders simply need to assemble and connect them. Working with these modules is possible year-round, and there's no need to worry about shortages, since Alho produces around 12,000 modules annually. BASF is the world's largest chemical company, and it's seen some significant advancements. Over 50 years ago, BASF introduced Styropore, a material known for its exceptional thermal insulation, high compressive strength, lightweight nature, and resistance to moisture. These qualities make Styropore a common choice in constructing energy-efficient homes. Since Styropore is a technical variant of Styrofoam, it shares its lightweight properties. Styropore's effectiveness is evident, especially in places like Turkey, where it's the sole product enabling construction in any region of the country without the need for extra thermal insulation. Have you ever come across these nets? Interestingly, they're not just for storing vegetables. They have a place in construction, too. When you take fine mesh nets and fill them with a mixture of 70% sand and 30% clay, you have ready-made building blocks. This construction method is known as Hyper Adobe, a variation of the Super Adobe technology that uses bags instead of nets. In Super Adobe, barbed wire serves as the connection between the layers. As for the origins, Hyper Adobe is credited as a Brazilian development, while Super Adobe is associated with Iran. Meet Roof Smart Pads, a product that tackles a couple of issues simultaneously. Firstly, they enhance safety when walking on sloped roofs. Secondly, they lower the chances of harming roofing materials. Each roof smart pad measures 102 by 61 centimeters and weighs roughly 5 kilograms. They can support a load of 91 to 136 kilograms. These blocks work on roofs of various slopes and different materials, from shingles to corrugated steel. The only downside is their limited lifespan, from four to five years. Plus, they come with a hefty price tag, with a set of three blocks costing